Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Stellaris Utopia. So, let's continue where we left off and I think we're just going to focus on building up our fleet. Especially battleships and corvettes, because we are going to need a lot of battleships with long range weapons against the unbidden, but at the same time we are almost definitely going to end up fighting another Awakened Empire and we need another corvette screen to fight them. So, battleships and corvettes, that's what we'll focus on right now. And we can actually build up some more spaceports. You know, to build more than one battleship at the same time, that would be best. So, we'll build up these two. And let's continue then, shall we? I moved the Dreadnought to Viriac Prime, because we cannot upgrade it to Jump Drive. We'll just keep it near Viriac Prime. It might be a good idea to keep some kind of fleet around Viriac Prime, because these guys might still attack us once we go to war with the other Awakened Empire. They still hate us, that obviously did not change, and they are still likely to attack us. It's just that right now they are way too small, but once we start fighting the other Awakened Empire right here, it's very likely that they will decide to join in and I need to be able to defend myself. Right now they actually can't declare war, even if they wanted to, because there's a truce. Anyway, let's keep working on the fleet, so spam some corvettes on the system with corvette assembly yards. Also, I will change the designs before we go fight the unbidden, but first we'll have to take care of the Awakened Empire but the Unbidden will require slightly different ship designs. Mostly very long-range weapons, probably just Giga Cannons and the large kinetic artillery on battleships. That's most likely what we'll do. But first, let's work on the fleet and the Awakened Empire. How much is a battleship now? Let's see, 1600, all right. We can actually exchange some energy for minerals because our energy income is pretty damn good at this point. We can have a chat with the trader enclave and just keep trading for minerals. I'll just do that. There's no reason not to really. That's 5000 and we can start more battleships. Battleships take a pretty long time to build, so I'd like to build a few at the same time so that it won't take forever. System survey complete. And how's our vassal integration? How much longer do we have to wait? Okay, around 10 years. They do have battleships. Where's their main fleet? Somewhere around here. I'm not seeing it. Well, it's somewhere, clearly. But I remember they had some battleships when I found their main fleet. There's their main fleet. Only two battleships. Okay, I thought they had more. Yes, they do have more. They have 17 battleships. Yeah, that's going to save us a lot of time, because it's not even about the minerals, it's about the time that it takes to build them. But I don't think we'll be waiting 10 years. I mean, the Awakened Empire is likely to declare war much earlier than that. There's no way we'll go 10 years without a war. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> I can already tell you that. Construction complete. Right, spam more corvettes. How many corvettes do we actually have right now? 33. Uh, we need at least 100 corvettes, I would say. If you remember the previous engagement with the other Awakened Empire, I basically lost 99% of my corvette screen. We had two left out of 75-ish, so 100 would be a safer number here. Maybe even more like 120, 130. So that's what we'll do. We'll just keep spamming corvettes for as long as we're working on battleships on the system with corvette assembly yards. We can do it on several systems. I mean, it doesn't really make a huge difference in the case of corvettes. You know what we could also use? Battleship assembly yards. But I still have to research those. So yeah, speaking of research, let's see. 13 months, 3 years. To get living metal. Oh yeah, we will get the living metal. I'm pretty sure we'll have a few on the systems that used to belong to the Awakened Empire. And that's a pretty nice bonus. 
hopefully we'll get that bonus before we actually go to war. And I guess we are going to need some stations with FTL inhibitors. Where's the closest construction ship? What are the construction ships doing anyway? Let's have a look. Also, I suppose we should send the science ship on automatic exploration. It's not like it has anything better to do. There's the closest non-busy construction ship. Alright, let's just jump in then. We're going to need one closer. It's the same plan as before, we need a close range engagement. And if you're wondering why, it's because of the Titan laser. It's a very long range weapon, that's AI only, you cannot get it as a player, unless you use a mod, there are mods that allow you to research it, but normally you can't research it. And it's a weapon Awakened Empires use. It's a very long range weapon that does massive damage and has a very long cooldown. It can wreck your battleships and cruisers, and it has much higher range than anything you can get. So that was one of the reasons why we needed a close range engagement. If that fight that we did two episodes ago with the other Awakened Empire wasn't initiated at close range, if it was instead on the other sides of the system for example, there's a pretty good chance I would have lost that. It was that important. War declaration, okay. Oh, the Fallen Empire declared war on Hasco Galactic Hive, okay then. Oh, did they colonize one of the holy planets? Well, too bad for them. Not my problem. You guys will have to handle it yourselves. We got bigger problems. Sucks to be you. Do we still have the curator bonus? Yes, we do. Yeah, for a pretty long time too, alright. No problem then. What's our next leader going to be? Let's see, plus or minus 20% destroyer build cost and plus 10% happiness, okay. Oh, also, speaking of ship build cost, I actually hired a governor for Inegor Prime. Yeah, this guy. For plus 20% ship build speed. That's going to be quite useful with battleships. That's basically the main reason I hired him. I saw there's a guy who will make ship construction faster, so I hired him right away. Construction complete. Right, let's keep working on battleships. Like so. Three at the same time. How many do we have now? Let's see, we got 25 battleships. And 29 cruisers. I will grab a few more cruisers. But right now they are slightly lower priority. Incoming transmission. I still hope we'll get a chance to research flak weapons soon. Because we really need them. We'll see. Hopefully they will pop up. If they do, I will start researching them as soon as possible. As soon as they pop up. So anything else? We might as well upgrade the spaceports, it's not that expensive. And fully upgraded spaceports everywhere will be nice. You know, to maximize naval capacity and to be able to build battleships everywhere when needed. So, research. One more month. And there it is. What's next? Archimeter, not super useful. Energy weapon attack speed. I mean, it's not terrible. It ignores 100% of armor and shields. But we don't need that right now. Tachyon sensors, yeah, we need that. We definitely need that. In fact, I should have researched that a little bit earlier. What's going on with you? Oh nice, we will gain access to Ministry of Culture. Minus 50% xenophobia, plus 10% governing ethics attraction, and plus 10% happiness on the planet. I like that. Where are we going to build it? We could build it on the tomb planet. I suppose. Construction complete. Construction yeah, we could. Complete. There it is. Alright, sure, why not? We can do that. Complete. And move one of the dudes from food. And upgrade the mines. So, Corvettes, let's queue up a few more. Because they finish rather quickly. Construction complete. Construction a lot of construction. Complete. I queued up some mining stations with constructors, in case you're wondering what's going on. 
We still got a few more to build over here. But this guy is still busy. Yep, he's still busy with all these things. Construction complete. Right, let's trade more energy. We are going to hit the cap pretty quickly, all the time. So, traders. Buy some minerals. There, 6,000. And more battleships. And let's grab a few more cruisers. Especially since we actually have cruiser assembly yards in here. With the bonus from Governor as well. That should go relatively quickly. And Corvettes. Incoming transmission. What do you want? Non-aggression pact? Yeah, sure, we can accept that, no problem. How are the factions doing? Let's see, Council of Higher Learning, we still got enough research agreements. Only 27% happiness on these guys. They will always be unhappy, there's really not much we can do about that. Oh well, there's always going to be at least one unhappy faction. Especially when they require things that are basically complete opposite of each other. Like one of them wants us to not sign research agreement. And the other one wants us to have at least three active research agreements. We can't do both at the same time, it's just not possible. How are the ring wards doing? Oh yeah, we still need a spaceport on this one, okay. And what else? Clear some of these blockers, I suppose. That's a lot of blockers that we still need to clear. Alright. Science lab. And some upgrades over here. Alright, carry on. Construction complete. More Corvettes. Hopefully we'll get at least 100k before going to war again. I'd like to see at least 100k. And hold on, where's the fleet right now? In Egor. That's where everything should be. Yep, I guess we just need to merge them. Yep. There we go, 96k. How old is our admiral? Because I kind of need him. He's 165 years old. We do have quite a few techs that increase leader lifespan. Let's see, what's next? What's the cheapest tech in here? Better farms? No, that's the cheapest tech. Alright, let's grab that one. Seven months to finish better sensors and under a year to unlock living metal. I'm pretty sure we'll have multiple copies of this. And it's definitely going to help against the Awakened Empire. Unemployment? Okay then. Where's the unemployment? I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, right here. What can we build then? Nothing super useful. Yeah, not really. More minerals, I guess. So, mining network. Alright. Sure. Construction complete. We got one transport. Why is it not landing? Oh, there's no space available anymore. Yep, no more space. That's fine. How about we move all of these a bit closer or we'll move this guy a little bit closer. We have jump drives now, so this doesn't really matter all that much. We can move pretty damn quickly. System survey complete. Tile block. We are doing quite a few surveys. So, ship queue. More Corvettes. How many do we have now? Close to 100? 73. Oh, only 73. Alright. Around 30 more, at least. Preferably more than that, if possible. Grab some more minerals from the traders. No, not that. Minerals. Good enough, and start a few more battleships. And some cruisers. No, I'm not interested in your federation, sorry. If anything, I might start mine at some point. But probably not. We'll see about that. 
more minerals. I just want enough for that cruiser. Incoming transmission. <laughs> non aggression pact? We might as well accept. We won't be fighting any AI empires right now. We have to handle the Awakened Empire and the Unbeaten first. And there it is, let's pause. Okay, how many do we have? 100k, alright. So that's enough, I think. Let's check their fleet strength real quick before we do anything. And also we have to add some more goals. Just their planets, I suppose. We don't have to take all of them, but... Add them. 27. 27 world score shouldn't be too hard to get, actually. And I want to cripple them. Alright, this looks good. Accept. So, what's their fleet strength? It's equivalent to ours. Okay. We just need a good engagement. So, basically short range. Like before. So... I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did before. We'll jump here and build a station. And the research is done. Oh yeah, tachyon sensors. Nice. Just in time. What can we get next? Oh yeah, we can unlock dark matter. And neutronium ore. Plus 20% armor and plus 20% physics research. We do have quite a few black holes. Hopefully we'll have at least one dark matter somewhere. Let's research dark matter first. And we need to check the designs real quick, for sensors. I think we had at least one design with exactly zero power. Yeah, this one. So we'll have to change it manually. I really dislike using the hangar core, but right now we don't really have a big choice, unfortunately. Let's have a look, what can we change here? We need to save a little bit of power. Yeah, that's the same exact power, unfortunately. Okay, plasma cannon. What do we change? Let's have a look. Well, this is slightly annoying. One extra generator. That's plus 55. Seems like a bit of a waste, honestly. But... I don't think we have a big choice. That's how it will have to be. Unless we want to downgrade something, which we don't. This is still fine. I will change this design completely later, once we unlock flak weapons. Alright, anything else, or is that it? I think that's it. Yep, we got tachyon sensors everywhere. Alright, looks like we are ready then. No more design changes, at least for now. Although, I am actually considering using a small phase disruptor instead of the Gauss cannon. Because that has 200% bonus against shields. This should be a quick upgrade, so let's swap. That way we'll have neutron torpedoes, and small phase disruptor on this one corvette, because we have two different corvette designs. This one is made to counter shields. Alright, and now we need a quick upgrade before anything attacks us. This should be pretty quick. Is there anything in the queue? The cruiser is about to finish. We need this upgrade to go quickly. In fact, I don't think it's very safe to jump with that construction ship right now. Yeah, we might want to wait for an escort. So let's wait for an escort. We better hurry up with that upgrade, because we need our fleet here. In fact, I should have jumped and upgraded in that system. We can still do that. So let's jump. Alright, off we go then. Upgrade. Construction complete. And we should probably build a military station here too. Just in case they actually decide to attack us right now. And we should also change our rally point from Inegor Prime to this planet. Alright, and where's that construction ship? Right here. Get over here. Just build a small station. 
We only need it for the FTR inhibitor, not for the actual firepower, obviously. Alright. So, are they actually moving? Our sensors cannot actually reach the system, so we don't know for sure. Research also, complete. we need our vassal to attach their fleet to ours. Let's have a look. Yep, it's checked. Okay then. This should be enough. But 76 corvettes could have been a little bit better. So, there's the living metal. Do we have any? We should. Yes, we got 16. That's plus 5% armor and plus 2% monthly hull regeneration. Alright, what's next? Let's have a look. Something cheap? What's the most useful tech in here? Probably kinetic weapon attack speed. Okay, let's grab that. Carry on. Let's do that upgrade real quick. Hurry up, guys. Yes, it's already being upgraded. Now it's not. It's still moving. That shouldn't take very long. Let's have a look. Yeah, it won't take long. And then we'll go set up the trap. We should still keep building ships, though. I mean, there's no reason not to do that right now. Maybe some cheap ones. Or we can build battleships and move them elsewhere. We can actually build some battleships on Viriak, for example. Yeah, sure. How about we do that? Can we actually build battleships on Viriak? No, we need one more spaceport upgrade. It is set as a rally point, right? Yep, it is. So, this should be fun. Are we ready? Not interested. More research. Plus 5% habitability, 48,000 to research that. Let's go for minus 15% edict cost. That is actually useful. And it's cheap. Alright, time to go. Merge everything really quick. And let's go then. So like I said, same plan as before. We'll jump and build a military station over there. Try to lure them in. Yep, off we go. I'll just leave a few corvettes that should lure them in to attack us. They will go down pretty much instantly, but that doesn't really matter. Corvettes aren't worth a whole lot. So, start military station right away. And get rid of whatever this is. Just a mining station. Okay, hurry up. Construction complete. And let's queue up some battleships on Viriak. Do we want to build anything first? A module? I don't think I want to spend 100 influence for this. Not really, no. I'll pass. Just get some battleships. You know what we should do, however? Get crew quarters, observatory and engineering bay on every single spaceport we have. They are cheap and they might come in handy. We'll build those everywhere. It's only 100 minerals per. Okay, that's that. I think that's everything now, almost. One more planet. Okay, now it's all of it. So get rid of that station, thanks. We got more important things to kill. Alright, and now back we go. Let's set this up. This will be fun. We'll just leave a few corvettes here. So, create a new fleet or a few battleships, because we kind of need the corvettes. I mean, not battleships, destroyers. Destroyers are slightly more expendable. Like, two destroyers is enough. It's just bait, it's nothing more than that. System survey complete. I mean, one corvette would have done the trick as well. It really makes no difference. So, are you done yet? 85%. Hurry up! Because we don't want them to come before it's done. Oh, nice. Another tradition. Fleet levies. Every vassal increases your naval capacity by an amount equal to 20% of theirs. I mean, not super useful, but we'll also get the finisher effect. 
Adopting all domination traditions will mean that technology is shared between us and our subjects. Okay. Well, we'll unlock the Ascension perk. And there's one Ascension perk in particular that we'll need, which is Defender of the Galaxy. That will give us plus 50% damage against the Unbeaten. We will pretty much need this. So, yeah, it will also increase everyone's opinion by plus 20. So that's also useful, but it's mostly for the damage against the Unbeaten. Right, the trap is ready. So let's go back and we'll jump out of here real quick and then jump in. Looks like we are ready. So let's do this. I will slow down slightly because we need to initiate the return jump as soon as they appear. They will get rid of the military station pretty much instantly. It will go down instantly as soon as they pop up. So as soon as we see a red icon here, we'll be pausing and jumping back. I suppose there's no need to pause, we just need to jump. Construction complete. So I'll be waiting. Station under there we go, they are coming. Alright, 104k. This should be a pretty easy fight. But I never underestimated the Awakened Empire. Still, we jumped in basically right on top of them. That's even better than the previous engagement. Okay, they have one Titan, 28 battle cruisers, and 68 escorts. Looking good. Let's queue up some ships while we fight. Some battleships. And maybe some corvettes, because we will obviously lose a lot of corvettes here. That's kind of their point. To screen our bigger ships. That's literally their role. Not their only role, obviously, but one of their major roles in engagements like this. Yeah, they are going down. There, they are really down. And 24,000. Let's check the combat report. We lost 6 cruisers, 17 destroyers, 27 corvettes, and 6 battleships. Okay, nice. Let's have a look. Total damage output from us. Yep, as expected, and from them... Yep, pretty good. There's pretty much no damage from the Titan laser, which is the most important part of this. If we engaged on the other sides of the system, this report would have been very, very different. So, did we kill everything? Inferior fleet power. They might still have like one fleet with 30,000 or so, but looks like we can just take their planets now. However, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.